What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'll be making a tapestry crew neck. Um, tapestry crew neck, yeah, tapestry crew neck. Um, I've been gone for a minute, but I pretty much, this camera, the camera that I was using was trash. It was just causing me too many issues to record off of, so I just stopped recording YouTube videos until I got a new camera that I actually like using. So, here we are. I will be uploading more videos. So, like I said, today we'll be making a tapestry crew neck blanket. Crew neck. A tapestry crew neck out of a blanket. And if you're interested in making this item for yourself, um, the link will be in the description to my website where you can purchase the pattern for. And yeah, this is literally one of the easiest things you can make. It's literally cut, pin, and sew two times, three times max. So this is the easiest thing you can make. So if you're interested, the link will be in the description for the pattern. And yeah, let's get into the video. So for this project, I will be using two crew necks since I'm doing an XXL um, crew neck size. So yeah, um, I just started off by laying down a pattern and pinning it, down, well, weighing it down with some washers that I got off Amazon, going over it with the marker. Now, you do want to use a darker marker so you can see on fabric like this because sometimes you won't be able to see. You want to cut out one front, one back panel, and two sleeves. Now, and cut it out. As you can see, the scissors are not working. So, you do, I do recommend everybody have a rotary cutter because it just makes everything so much easier. Now, here's everything, like I said, one front panel one back panel and you cut out two sleeves so yeah so once you do that you want to take your front and your back panel and you want to lay them flat on the table putting them right sides together so you can get ready to um pin the shoulder seams together now, i know everybody don't have clips but pins do work the same way so yeah so here i am lining everything up clipping the um shoulder seams together to make sure everything is nice even and straight Once you do that, you want to sew along the shoulder seams at a half inch. Now you do want to, you do want to make sure you do a front stick, front front stitch. I don't know why I can't talk. Front stitch and back stitch before you start. Now once you do that, you want to lay everything flat. I know this is a weird angle, but I'm getting ready to attach the um the sleeve. So you want to take the sleeve and put it at that little curve at the top. You want to make sure it's right sides facing, you know, together. So put the sleeve right sides facing facing the front and back panel. Clip everything. Now this is probably the most annoying part because it may seem, sometimes it seems like it's not going to line up straight, but I promise you it will. Just work with the fabric, maneuver it a little bit, and, you know, before you sew it, make sure everything looks good, looks nice. Now I'm telling you, this is the most difficult not really it's not difficult it's just the most annoying part about doing the crew necks but yes it should look like this once you pin everything up or clip everything so yeah that's the way it should look and once you do that do that for both sides and you want to check to make sure it looks even or it looks like it's on the right side because i messed up multiple times when i first started on doing these but yeah do that for both sides and then you want to turn it inside out and you want to clip the um the sides of the crew neck and then you want to clip the sleeve of the crew neck and under the armpits i normally start there because it just makes everything much easier and then once you do that pin everything you know and then sew everything at a half inch and you're done and that's it that's the easiest thing you can do this is what it should look like once you're done and just sew that at a half inch or inch and you're done and this is what it will look like in the end result. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, if you do wanna um, purchase this, it is available on my website with the measurements and everything. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching. So yeah, that's the video. I know it was very short, but that's literally how long it takes to, it's, it's not five minutes, but you know, it's a very, very simple, very easy tutorial it's a very easy um sewing project for anybody that wants to do it so yeah like i said if you're interested in making this the link is in the description for the pattern and yeah see you guys in the next video peace and don't forget to subscribe follow me on instagram and all that stuff it'll be in the description thank you guys again peace